Nomad, this is Bowman. Been a long time. You probably weren't expecting to go back to Aroa so soon. Let me set the scene. The U.S. Army never landed. Ships have been deployed to blockade the archipelago's perimeter. Every major nation is represented, with fingers on the trigger for whoever dares to claim control over Aroa's technological resources. Sounds like a grand old tropical paradise, doesn't it? The CIA's been covertly working with the outcasts and their leader Haruhi Ito to declare Aroa a free and autonomous nation. Our solution? We send the Ghost to deal with the inevitable Sentinel resistance that'll arise while leaving no trace of our involvement. You, old friend, will help the outcasts win their independence. Feel fancy yet? We do this right, and maybe we won't have another motherfucking shit show like Bolivia. Clearing up all that shaved a decade off my already charmed existence. I don't care for a repeat. Operation Motherland will begin the moment you meet up with Ito at the Outcast Camp. Good luck. Win Aroa her future. And try not to get killed. Uh, Mike should be live. Oh boy. Bowman, it's Nomad. Got in. Surprisingly, I missed this place. Over. Great to be working with you again, Nomad. Good times. New day, same old shit. Stay undetected while you make your way to Ito and the outcasts. Liberation should be easy with Sentinel and the Wolves leaderless. Now that all parties have given the green light, including Skell's blessing, the only condition Ito gave to the CIA was that you be involved with the transition. Be discreet. U.S. forces cannot be seen on a Rowan soil. Great to be back in action, Bowman. The outcast main base is nearby. Do a recon before heading to the base. There's an observation point just in front of you. That way you can better plan your approach. U.S. agents on foreign soil had never been a problem before. <laughs> and especially when they're intervening in civil war situations. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it really a civil war? Sentinel doesn't technically own the island. Scaltech is a U.S. company, isn't it? I believe so. Where's the game overlay? There it is. I would like to turn that off. Apparently it's shift tilde. Uh, I think... Yeah, it is. Yeah. Shift tilde should open up. Uh, I'm gonna switch to Echelon, I think it was, right? Uh, I think that's what you were, uh, leveling, yeah. Well, no, I don't need to level anything, I'm just switching back to Echelon. <clears throat> Pretty sure Panther, uh, is gonna require me to go back to Golem Island first, so... I'll work on that later. Well, can we still can... work on Assault here. Yeah, okay. Don't forget your um, XP preparation with the yeah. extra levels now. Yep. <clears throat> yep, I'm good. You're good? All right. Boat started. I'm at the observation point. The outcast camp's been attacked. A lot of dead. The place is still crawling with enemies. Ah, there's new uh, symbols. You need to recon without leaving the observation mm -hmm. point. You can't reveal your presence. We need to find Ito. They didn't use these for base game. Effectively, just the same new game plus. Effectively. Must be less than 100 meters from it. 
extra fun. Yeah, I know how to do that. Ito's place is surrounded by bodies. It was the epicenter of the fight. They must have come to capture <clears throat> Ito. Part of Ito. Where's that enemy? The inside the building, maybe? So, the rebel oh. camp here that you probably didn't see in the campaign. Uh, no, was, I've done uh, faction missions uh, for him. Okay. So, I've been here. So, this was a rebel camp this was a that we saw in the campaign and we met them and blah, blah, blah. And currently, it's overrun with Jesus. people. That with Bodark. Yep. Last time I saw this was in Bodark. Which we kind of were supposed to be doing before we started this, technically. Be see them using thermal vision. Uh, That's a Bodark uniform. I thought Bukharov was the last of them. Interesting. Russia must have gathered rogue Bodarks for Black Ops. The situation's new and dangerous. The walls have skills, but I bet I can take any of them. Yes. Ah, that's obvious. I think there's only one enemy I haven't seen. Uh, looks like there's a tack cache down there, though. Secure the outcast camp. We can see through optical camo with the um, thermal vision. Assuming oh. that means the enemy has optical camo then. Mm -hmm. That's what you were supposed to spot when you were up there. Someone in optical camo? Yep. Oh. Mm. That's that. the uh, symbol right there. The ones that the have it? Demo. Okay. I don't remember there being crates here when I did this. Because this is like the intro mission that I did because I didn't know what I was doing and then you can immediately do anything you want after it. <clears throat> I feel like crates. this is straight from Wildlands though. Because so. I... I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure the Wildlands thing was similar. Shot heard. Oh, I didn't turn on my optical camo. That would or my uh, thermals. That probably would have helped. Yep, kind of. Which means they don't show up on the map either. You actually have to switch to thermals uh, to make them show up at all. Mm-hmm. This guy's got a helmet, a good one. That was the last of them. These enemies are definitely going to be harder than the base sentinels. Mm-hmm. If they don't all go down with a single shot to the head. Well, that's why burst is a thing, right? <laughs> uh, mine are set to single and automatic. So, sort of. I don't have burst on my weapons. Bowman, this is Nomad. The outcast camp is secure. No trace of Ito, dead or alive. We'll proceed with caution, but if Ito is dead, the only option will be for us to retreat. Your main objective is to conquer the region and save Ito. Start striking at the boat arcs you find. It's clear that they've invaded the island, and they are our most pressing obstacles. There are several destabilization missions to support the primary objective. You can attack and destroy some Bodark VHC to reduce the Bodark's drone presence in the region. There's Vehicles. also a prison where captured yeah. outcasts have been gathered. If you Vic. Can, you might get yeah, I'm to familiar with that one. And simultaneously have possible reinforcements when the time comes to claim the region. Besides, the Bodarks unsurprisingly control the parliament. Securing the Bodark checkpoint adjacent to it should encourage the outcasts to unite once and for all and push them to fight. I'm on it. Nomad out. Three new destabilization missions and you see Sparkle. Okay. So that one is the northern area. Okay. 
control their activities, weaken them. Okay. Let the chief civilization missions. The more you do, the easier it'll be. All right, mission button. Activity selector. Okay, so if I hit B, and then, why did you link two of them? Uh, what? Apparently you had me pin two of them. There's only, I pinned all three. Oh, well I have assault, um, pinned, so that's why. Probably. Those are decent ways away. Go here. Uh, you want to do the extraction first? We can. All right. We're just going to fly there. Are we going to fast travel? Because technically we're not supposed to fly anywhere because of the drone swarm in other provinces. Look that. Thank you. That's the extraction. Uh, I was going to travel to the Burn Hill bivouac. It's closer. Okay. I flew all in one session, so... Yeah, but see, it's it's 2.6 kilos uh -huh. um, when I can just spawn a chopper here. Clicks. Kilo is weight. Yeah, I still say kilo for kilometer sometimes. Because now... Oh shoot, I didn't mean to put a beacon there. Now it's less than one kilometer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know how bivouacs work. Is it just going to give you a base tutorial again? It's effectively New Game Plus, like I said. But yeah, but what I'm saying is it's really explaining to me how to use bivouacs. Mm-hmm. It's effectively New Game Plus. Is that a... Gilly helmet you've got on? Or Gilly? No. Helmet? This is the Gilly... Uh... Hat thing. Should we assume there's probably enemies? Yeah, this is a prison break. Oh, hey! I was actually at this prison fairly recently. Mm-hmm. Uh... I was here to collect some weapon... Part, I think. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna stay with the normal... Kozak helmet. Kozak, uh, that's the Ghost Recon one? Mm hmm. Future Soldier. Yeah. Sorry, obviously it's Ghost Recon. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, the game series. Got at least two heavies. A few normal Sentinels. Got a rocket gunner on the roof. That should be most of them. I think everyone's That's all of them. Now. I'm gonna go for the... The one on the separate uh, platform on the far side. Okay. I have a friend now. I see a radio op. Two heavies. I didn't spot power um, when I was up there, so I don't know where that's at currently. Um, I mean, I did do the sonar ping, so if it was here, it should have been spotted, I think. And I'll move into the other separate building. Take those two out. Mm -hmm. I don't have sync shot. 
I should probably throw those on next time. Let's just shoot at okay. some shit out here. I'm dying to try out this new optic on my Maz. Maz is the laser, right? So. That could know. be a weapon. I'm not overly familiar with Russian weapon. He's said it in English. Because he's Sentinel. He's not Russian. Oh. Well, then I don't know. Body. Something. Uh, I shot his helmet off, and I forgot he wasn't gonna be a one-shot kill. Mm -hmm. But remove that part first. One um, of the mortars is down. Gonna quickly throw on a sink shot instead of the recon grenades, cause I never use them. Well, I mean, I also have sonar pulse. So. I really don't like dealing with heavies. Not. Oh. I hate them. Uh, just bursts. Or, or use, a use a sink shot and oh, kill them instantly. <laughs> when you take out the radio operator. Mm -hmm. Do you think a prison would have like cameras on or something? You would think so. Uh, just the guy on the roof now, I think. And people inside. You know, when I was doing this before, I went down the same hallway, and it's a dead end. Maybe they changed it up slightly for, uh... No, it's a dead end. Miniguns are great as long as they have a direct line of sight on the target. You are correct. Guy on the roof's down. I mean, miniguns kind of would suck. Unless your job is to suppress people and you didn't care about ammo. <laughs> yeah, but they jam too often. I wouldn't want to use a minigun in the first place. They don't jam, though. They spit the bullet out if it doesn't fire. That's kind of how they're designed. Fancy schmancy Gatlin guns, man. <laughs> like the Wild West out here. They're designed specifically so that if the bullet doesn't fire or other things. Adam, yeah. uh, I think we're good. There's the, a light and then something outside. I think that's just the light, though. I think, yeah. Um... I think we're safe as far as humans go. You wanna test it? No. Yeah, we're safe. And you've done scared my VIP. Who are you? No man. I'm here to save you. The legendary. Do you get the one up top yet? No. Okay, I'll go upstairs then. The fight lives on. I can't on wait to try it. You know, for some reason I don't feel like just Follow me. whacking those panels would open it. Yeah, I feel like, um, prison would specifically not work like that. You think so? Did you get the last one? Yep. Are you leading them? Um, yeah, he's following me. Okay. Well, because it wasn't updating there for me for a minute. Well, he was, uh, he's following me. And then we gotta get outside, and I'm on the wrong level. Try this again. I'm sure he can follow me all the way over here, right? This quickly. Did he just jump off the roof? Mm. He must have. You're too far from your targets. Yeah, yeah. I'll stand here and wait. Yeah, I jumped off the roof with a parachute, and I'm guessing he followed me by jumping off the roof because he's dead sprinting straight at me. Um, the one's not following me anymore. Yeah. Back in. Where'd it go? Still above me somewhere? Wait. 
down. Okay, his hair is worrying. It looks like they're on the third level. Yeah, but they should be. Unless you can only lead one at once, but I'm pretty sure two people are following. No, you can, lead as, you can lead as many as you need to. Yeah, they're still on the third floor for some reason. Where's the stairs? I am blind. Here they are. Oh. They're broken? Come on, stop. Lead. Come this way. Uh, we might end up restarting this one. Bye. This guy is charging headfirst into a wall and even telling him to stop following me did nothing. Well, maybe I told him to stop and I leave him. Get the other guy to the, uh, thing and then it won't yell at me for being too far away from him. What do you think? Think that'll work? Maybe. Is the M110 a different gun than the M4? As in, like, different I don't know. system inside? Okay. I really don't know a lot about shotguns. It's not a shotgun. Oh, you're thinking the M4 is an M4A1? I'm saying the M110 SASS sniper sniper is oh. this one. Yeah, Yeah, you go try to get them the on the third floor. Or is it... Cause it? I mean, I think it's just the same mechanism. At least it looks... Identical and not I don't know. I'm not familiar with it. All right And you gotta keep in mind that the m4 is a shotgun the m4 a one's the rifle Oh m16 is a rifle. Yeah for a one is a carbine. Yeah. Yeah um Yeah, no I the um The generic shape of it is the same but the hk416 is different. So I would think that they're different. Hi yeah, is he just and, charging into the wall for you? No, she's just standing here. Okay. Well, We're gonna go on the roof and jump off though. Tell her to stop, so. Well, she wasn't running to the wall, she was just standing there and then looked at me when I came in. You'd think you'd just be able to have to let them go, but... You know, they'd get shot by Sentinel or the Bodark, I guess. Alright, she just disappeared. Okay, but I told her to follow me, so she's following me. Clearly. Oh, there she is. She teleported behind me. And now she's going to run off the roof and follow me, right? Uh, yep. sort of. Yeah. Looks like she hopped down to the second story roof and hasn't moved since. That's fine. She'll follow me. You sure? It says you're too far away. The other guy was able to jump off the building. Oh, now she's moving again. Mm -hmm. 150 uh, meters. She's inside. For... Yeah, she's fine. She'll figure it out. 150 meters for allies, one or 50 meters for captives. Uh, watch where you at with the road. The convoy's coming along this one. I don't know if they're going to turn onto the trail or not. Probably not. I think they mainly stick to main roads, right? Yeah. Well, it wouldn't it wouldn't go down this road because then it'd have to loop back. It only loops around big areas. Uh, yeah, they're coming. They're gonna hop over that wall. Tactical roll down the thing. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. See, you just jump off the roof and they figure it out. AI aren't dumb. You sure? Or should we refer to them as NPCs? I, I'd call these ones NPCs. Oh, yeah, they, they, this updated sound for the M110, by the way. Yeah, I Listen noticed they said there was a few. That sounds pretty nice. Yep. And then with the suppressor. Why do you have a gold suppressor? Because the barrel and suppressor are gold. Look at it in thermals. What? Well, you quit moving. Hold on. Yeah, I mean, you're... Those are the two parts that are lit up. What happened? Do you have any info? Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I'd never seen them before the attack. They're brutal. Gold barrels Sentinel or brass barrels. Uh, from them. I think it's brass. No Reduces corrosion. I can help you fight the boat. Or, but first, uh, I need to regroup build up. Like aluminum is good, and that's what we use for everything. But 
or chrome is good. We use chrome lined barrels and everything, but gold would technically be better, I want to say. Chrome chrome stuff, I think, reduces the, the buildup of corrosive materials. I think it's chrome. I don't know. I just think it looks cool as well. The black black guns don't look cool to me. Uh, camoed version would be fine, but because I'm this weird amalgam of camo, that doesn't really work. Let's hit the enemy vehicles since they move around. We'll do them next. Only... Yeah. Um. You wanna grab the chopper? Or go to the bivouac. Uh, we can just fly there. But we could also teleport. Yeah, well, I mean, the chopper's pretty close. It's further away than last time, but... The chopper's not too heavily damaged from my landing. We should be fine. No, it's not damaged. Oh, well, I can see the cosmetic crack damage glass. isn't. Yeah, but it's not smoking. No. Once it's smoking, that means it's damaged. And so then it looks after like... that, it's up. Those two are moving, the other two are sitting at a base, so uh, I'm assuming we'll probably end up infiltrating said base using C4 or something. Airport. Yep. We get to fly over Liberty City. Which so. we'll be back to um, do the Battle of Parliament, yeah. Yep. We're going to play here uh, GTA in a month or so, right? Liberty City. The One. remastered trilogy. I haven't heard of it. Is that maybe oh, you have a suspicious noise. No, that's different. You're not gonna just, yeah. Well, you gotta keep in mind I don't have the. uh... What's it called? On. That's a new. Is that a camo point? Is that what that symbol was? Yep. All right. Camo points are in crates everywhere now, like the skill points are. Oh, but yeah. Remember, I don't have um, hit or not hit markers, um, crosshairs on. Okay. So I have the yeah. very quiet sound of lock-ons. Okay. okay. And now we head to the airport. Yeah, I don't know why you say VHC. Vic is just way easier and I've never heard VHC before, so... I don't remember if they have Sam at the airport. Probably. If I were them, I would have a sample at the airport. We need to get that camo point. Um, actually, no, we don't. No, yeah. not yet. Well, yeah, um, we'll probably we'll be we heading that, back, them. back that way. I don't. Yeah, we can collect them, I think, but Tech we're not supposed to, to be right. able to use them until uh, next mission, I think. So. Oh, well, that's fine. I have no issue uh, collecting things beforehand. Well, I mean, it's just it. Yeah. I think they should have had them as a question mark symbol. Because uh, I still so don't understand the them, point. But doesn't of tech explain points. it to you, sort of. Yeah, thing. I don't understand the point of tech points exactly yet. So, or camo points. I mean, I don't know how those work. Well, isn't um, optical camo upgradable? I think I saw yes, in the it patch is. notes. Yes. It's just I don't know how you would upgrade tactical camo. You would just have the module or whatever that does it and the gear with it. Uh, well, I'll leave the rest to you since you have the sonar. This is bullshit. There's no one out here. Indeed. We're about to find that dead body, though. Well, don't let him. That's we don't fine. need him alerting the base. Like the one yellow guy is going to soon. That's fine. And now they're all yellow. Okay. Has the intel been reset? Uh, no, it's the same world map effectively, but just well, with everything redone I'm on it. Because there's too. new, there's intel here that um, I'm pretty sure should be here at this point. No, it's either for the tactical. Ca it's either for the camo crates. If you, I mean, I don't think it should be for those. Space. Or it's for something you already missed. Hold breath now. I keep forgetting that. I don't know why space is hold breath in this game instead of shift, like every other game. Uh, Cause shift is sprint. Yes, and sprint is normally the hold breath, but. Mm -hmm. But shift is sprint. 
There's cloakers. Yep. I found one. By complete accident. You can see yeah. them. If you're close enough. Yep. Um, without thermals. I think I only took one shot. Uh, I'm gonna take uh, the mortar down. This pistol kind of sucks. <laughs> Compared to the USB I was using. Um, yeah, no, they shimmer because the camo pattern, uh, the upgradable camo thing is, they're using level 2, I think. I took down a drone near the mortar. Mm-hmm. Does not count as an enemy drone kill. Very depressing. No, the unless you blow them up. No, it was a, one of the uh, cash ones. Oh yeah, one of the um, knives you can get is bronze, and I've realized that it makes very little sense that they give us bronze weapons like knives. But then not a bronze camo pattern. They gave us gold. So. You put a C4 in that truck? I don't have C4 equipped right now. I apparently don't either, even though I have an empty space that was my C4. You sure you didn't put the uh, filters in that I don't... beforehand? Since we were doing Amber Ruin not that long ago? No, I was using uh, grenades... Uh, C4 and mines for the field medic challenge. Oh, right. I remember that challenge. I might like. Why? I have glasses on, and uh, the model's like, hey, oh, uh, well, my I, I have a strike my... designator. Once I finish taking yeah. out these guys, we can just drop a, a thing on them. Mm hmm. Uh, there's a snipper in the tower. Is there? Yeah. Oh, you're right. Uh, there was a sniper in the tower. But our presence should decline now that I've limited. Okay, well, whatever you say, game. Hello, stranger. Didn't blow up the truck. That should be enough. Now hey, you blew up the truck. Yes, won't be able I know to their forces across the region now. Really appreciate it. Goodbye. Windows is doing that thing where it's closing tons of windows. I don't think that's getting picked up by the recording, but... <laughs> Your efforts are paying off. The outcasts are rising and plan to strike several objectives throughout the region. The Bodarks are disorganized, and I managed to locate one of their bases. How are the Bodarks disorganized? the experimental tech that makes the Bodarks invisible and intel on Ito's location. You mean Skeltech? managed to steal the tech and save Ito? All this activity should be enough to take back the region. On it. I'll get Ito out of there. No Didn't matter. we call it Skeletech in the last game? I think so. I'm gonna fly over to the smaller chopper. Faster than walking. Okay. Sure it's not gonna kill you? That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> um, I forgot I was no longer a field medic. I was just gonna self-revive once we got to the smaller helicopter. Mm. Yeah, well, you still have many bandages. Don't worry, just broke my leg. <laughs> <laughs> so I will say, I have um, injuries set to rare. Mm -hmm. um, but you seem to always end up with injuries. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Just you, yeah. not me. Yeah, the blood's kind of floating in front of me, I guess. I don't know what's going on there. jump out of the helicopter you're not gonna bandage yourself no, i'm fine i don't i'm good it's just a flesh you're wound. gonna take like one hit and die uh-huh assuming you can actually can't, get anywhere can't heal on the helicopter so so the camo points over here if i land you on the yep. beach you think you'll be all right yeah only I'll suspicious noise yeah. yep it's only suspicious <laughs> 
Just hobble my way over to the thing. Yeah, yeah, I know I missed. And that my aim is slightly off today. Yeah, if you get two injuries, you can't just use the med pen. I'll take your word. Oh, it's just the... These drones. Do they count as enemy drones? Yeah, they will. All, all the drones that you yeah. destroy count as enemy drones. If you don't... Um, oh, that one's just screaming. If you don't destroy the ground ones, then they don't count. So, like, if a mortar was here and you didn't blow it up and you deactivate it, it doesn't count as a kill. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm coming to... It's out of sight, man. Just completely missed the stairs. Trying to walk up them. Oh, well, there's apparently a cosmetic around here, too. Mm hmm. Oh boy, a deagle. Can't wait to use that. Yeah, so try shooting that. The light? I don't know. Why? Yeah, I don't think that'll count as a drone, but that is an enemy, technically. An enemy uh, installation. I think thing. I have to be able to see the light bulb to shoot it. No, you just have to hit it. Alright, well, I'll do it in a minute then. I'm gonna get this um, camo point. That's what you called it, right? Camo points. Camo points, yeah. Yep, it's just magic technology. It's like nano machines. Effectively. Just stealing someone's Netflix account. That teach you some manners. Dang this thing. It spots fast. You put huh? I know I'm shooting at you. I'm gonna go back to the Scorpion Scout. Scorpion Scout's the best gun in this game. This thing as much as not I like him. Shut up. Please. Yeah, blow it up. Oh, I got a backpack here. And we're in combat again. Yeah, it's down the thing because we had drones whining. So, um, the Scorpion oh, scout the only the, DMR. The light, see if that fixed it, right? No, that counts as a... Yeah, I it don't think not. it would, but... Yeah, it counts as, like, power, then. Like, an infrastructure. Stole the eyes and out of that, uh, robot. Um, so the Scorpion scout's the only DMR that is bolt-action, so... For some reason, they decided that the DMRs apparently need to shoot fast. So the bolt action on it is extremely fast compared to every other bolt action. There's just a duck floating up there. Do you see that? <laughs> There's just a duck going away into space. Okay. And now we go attack the parliament building. Yep. Well, the checkpoint. You want to fly? You know. Okay, never mind. It's Fly fine. really high and then drop, or...? Oh, we could do that too. But we could also just snipe the... clear the checkpoints. Technically. But we could also just jump out too, I guess. Wait, yeah, I was gonna... Have it, uh, fall in the water. It doesn't matter. As long as it doesn't fall close enough. Either way, it doesn't we're matter where it is. Yeah, we're enough... we're up high enough that it's gonna go pretty far away. I'll go for the other checkpoint. Okay. Maybe Russia can rebuild. Uh, I didn't realize Russia was destroyed. Am I missing something in the lore? Um. Not that I'm aware of. Apparently their rocket gunners are called Dreadnoughts. Yeah, they have the helmets as well. That's why. Okay. There's only three of them. Mm -hmm. Even with Raven's Rock, this... 
Mary Falls juice, nature in a bottle. That sounds kind of questionable. No, they're not. Hey, you seem to be uh, detected. Nope. Gunshots over there, though. There are gunshots, but they're not at me. It's rebels, probably. Probably. Yep. Nearly killed a rebel by shooting the guy behind him. Nice. Oh, encoding overloaded. Okay. How'd you yeah. manage that? Uh, I don't know. I guess I am streaming at 120 FPS. That's right. Why? Uh, I wanted to see if I could handle it, and I sort of can. <laughs> can anybody watch it at 120? I mean, like, no, no, but YouTube, it'll make it look nicer. Right? Yeah, but there's no point in wasting the resources if no one can actually use them. Okay, well, yeah. You know, that's a good point. But it'll look nicer. Love gas grenades. Uh, if I stop streaming and then, yeah, the stream will stop and you will not be able to reconnect. Okay, I could have sworn that you could reconnect. His arm twice. It should be a clear sign to the outcasts they're not alone in the fight. I hope they'll react. Yeah, I mean, you know, there were outcasts around us that, you know, heard about us and we helped them, but also uh, a bunch of dead people and people dying randomly probably is not the greatest motivator for uh, revolution. Unless, of course, you see them as evil or, you know, occupiers, which I guess would also work. Uh, we'll go to the Mount Herbert bivouac. Yep. The closer one um, is a no-fly zone. Mm -hmm. Where are we going? Mount Herbert. I mean, we can go in the no-fly zone. I'm going to stop the stream. I'm going to then uh, edit my settings so it's 60 FPS and then start the stream again. That'll be perfectly fine, I bet. Won't cause any problems at all. I mean, you won't be streaming for much longer, probably. Yeah, I know. I'll go you need to set up a broadcast before you can start streaming? I don't think so. Resume interrupted stream. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Resume interrupted the stream you're allowed to do that obs has that option uh ghost recon breakpoint just doesn't like it though <laughs> i love the blood spark when that happens uh-huh because they never changed it i don't like how there's just random gunfights going on in the middle of fucking nowhere because that sounds really stupid <laughs> so uh land on the crossroad there Oh wait, have you done this area before? Have you been here? It's like chapel. Yes. Okay, so you know what's in there. Uh, I've been in there once and it was to collect something. Okay, so you didn't actually do the mission regarding it. No. So in the game, I haven't done any missions main... past what uh, we did together. I think. So in the in the main game story mission, when you went here, there was uh, Project Lazarus, which gives it away a little bit, I think, or is yeah. Project yeah. Methuselah. Either way, it was the idea that they were cryogenically storing people, but then also AI uploading them or something like that somewhere else. So it was suggested that you can oh. cryogenically freeze people here. There's at least one uh, stalker. Yeah, that's fine.
There's another uh, over here. When that uh, when this heavy fell, it like shot a bunch of stuff up. I should switch to the Karen bit for the cooler takedowns, actually. Yeah, but it's so off. Yeah, but they look cooler. But it's so off. Don't see. Oh, wait, what was that? I, I don't know if there's three different takedown weapons or if there's just two, but I did notice that there's more animations that I don't remember seeing before this update. I don't know if they added more or not. Looks like some kind of prototype for an optical camo cloak. This will come in handy. Yeah, I don't know why it, optical camo cloak sure, let's sounds do the redundant. tutorial. Use you to activate it. Okay. Yep. Consumes battery. Yeah. And it only recharges during the daytime. Can be updated with camo plugs or upgraded. Yep. Yep, so that's why I said they're like nano machines. I mean, I kind of like it though, because I thought it was gonna uh, require a gear item, like in yeah, Wildland. like a, a gear slot. I think I'd prefer that, thing. or at, least, at the very least, I think I'd prefer, um, or you mean like an item slot that you equipped? Yeah, like on the, the gear like wheel. A... I figured it was yeah, gonna you... take like a gear wheel slot. Okay. Yeah, I'd prefer if there was an item on your character that showed up, even if it was an item you had to equip to use it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's just the same animation. That wasn't even okay. So that's not a Tonto, then I guess. Uh, we need a body. Uh, I got this one here. We should be good. Oh, you can't use optical camo with a. Carrying a body? Why not? You can't use optical camo if you're doing anything. Yeah, but wouldn't that just look so cool? Just a, a floating body? Yeah, but it doesn't work too well. <laughs> like, they could have... They have ample amounts of room on the gear belt that they could have just equipped it to, so. To get to her fast. Is that still in this area? It is. Perfect. At the hospital. Yep, down the road. Now, I'll be honest, it actually feels like uh, these missions we just did feel very, very weird because there's a lot less enemies than there should be. The hospital feels like there's an act adequate amount of enemies that actually make sense there. So. No, I didn't catch it. Where do you go to upgrade the... Oh, never mind. Here we go. In your See? G upgrades. And then... uh, your K menu? L menu? It's the loadout menu, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's there. And then, yeah, there's upgrades and they have a lot of points. Recharge speed up, battery duration. All right, so, oh. Um, Basically all the upgrades. When you upgrade it to Mark 1, it can start um, recharging at night. Yep, and it's you just need to upgrade, uh, unlock four of the things in that category. You don't actually need to unlock the, the upgrade previous itself. ones. Oh, the prep, okay. Yeah, the thing at the top is just unlocked when you get three things, you don't pay for that. Nice. We just gonna drive? Oh, we or can. We fly. Either way, driving will get us back to the helicopter faster. I mean, it's only half a kilometer, and there's a helicopter down on the helipad too. We could have taken. Too late. Is that a missile sound? Yeah, that was a weird flare launch missile fire. Oh, it's the rebels. They're launching or uh, yeah, declaring their presence or something. Yeah, I don't. That doesn't make sense.
It's like they, um, combine CTI and, um, just throwing in the resistance from the resistance, uh, event. No, it, this is CTI. It's just, it's, they added the resistance thing. You don't want to land on the roof? Scare Why would I land on the roof? Okay. I would like to not be caught, remember? Mm -hmm. And we do have to extract Ito. Or Ito. Or Hudi Ito? Or Hui Ito? Uh, I don't know. Hara Hui Ito. That, uh, one sniper, two sniper, three? Mm -hmm. No. Two and three regulars. We got a cloaker in the middle. Gonna go for the ones by the chopper. I guess don't really below. Action warfare started. That's not good news for us. Now they're all on alert. Mm hmm. Dang it, Gage. Now I'm caught. Oh, hey, I can turn invisible. Do that, please. For like 20 seconds. Not even. Gash grenade works through walls. Yes, it does. We already tested that. All right, that's a little unfair. He killed the drone guy. Yeah, and drone he's not drone. close enough now. Okay. And I killed the civilian. Oh, uh, great. No, leave me alone. Take this gas grenade. Screw you. Don't worry, I got the gunner. I got the rest. <laughs> Well, the rebels are in fact helping. Mm-hmm. They're storming the building too. Yep. We need to get that radio up. Be on your floor above. Or you could just go extract Ito. He's on the floor above me, I'll get him. Yeah, well, I'll head for Ito. She's second floor, I think, looks like. Yep. There should be more stealth people here, but I've only killed one, so... Um... There should be like eight... Ten, I thought. Hey, you're coming with me. Please don't die. Yeah, we'll talk when it's safe. Oh, okay. You completely ignore that guy. And that guy. What guy? They're civvies. The, the, oh, yeah, okay. The two invisible civvies. Oh, no. I didn't see them. Uh -huh. They were invisible. <laughs> I'm sure Hito can... Harry Ito. I'm gonna head for the camo points. There's cars right by him, so. Yeah, she can survive explosions and stuff, right? Probably. <laughs> Don't even give her a ballistic vest or anything. <laughs> um, that sniper's gotta go. What's up, Ito? Get in the car. And then we gotta get 2.8 kilometers away. Please tell me that's not in the no-fly zone. It is not perfect. No, the no-fly zones are only the other sectors. Well, don't worry, I'll find my own way out, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I'm moving to the chopper. I'll be honest, I'm a little annoyed that the rebels showed up because I thought this was gonna be a cool stealth mission. And then it wasn't. And I and guess, I yeah. shouldn't have gone this way. Then I get in the helicopter. Yeah, this is a different chopper, but it'll work. Okay. Left door gun. Okay. I said left door gun. Yeah. <laughs> and the objective requires me to fly with it on the right. Uh 
I, I, I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not, but the rebels did roll up around and then assault the hospital from the other side. When I did that, they didn't show up at all. So that's well, kind of neat, though. That It was from one of the quests that we did. It said uh, rebels will help with the assault on the hospital after completing okay. it. So because I mean, we completed all, all the other ones first. Too, so. Oh, I don't know that. I don't know. Okay. That's a very nice looking sky. You can see the pixels. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, I was about beautiful. to say, wow, what a nice looking island. And then I noticed the sky is just very pixelated. So. You want to hit the convoy real quick? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> it looks like there's rebels in the road. They're going to hit it too. <laughs> Can you aim, please? I can't aim that far, right? Well, hurry up. Try not to blow up the truck. We gotta land to get it anyways. Just the one guy. Yeah, you think the rebels would be able to nah, be aware this. of the guy on the other side? This is an interesting. Yep, that's I'm the... assuming his hand was supposed to be there. Is it the takedown for the uh, thing? Destroy him. Alright. They're here. <laughs> With the US military. Knock knock. I still don't understand that whole thing about the U.S. military takes control of the island because oh, Skelltech is a U.S. company, I assumed, because he, they spoke English, so... They meant not be, but... Yeah. Uh -oh. They have their own helipad. They got people on... Hmm. Yeah, they have their own helipad, but um, they also have their own helicopter on it. I remember, we aren't supposed fight. to be involved here at all, so clearly wearing U.S. flags and uh, U.S. camo and all that stuff is bad, right? Uh, I mean, have you looked at me? I'm clearly Black Ops material. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you look at any of the Rebels, most of them are, like, slightly toned-down versions of the regular civilians, because the regular civilians all have surplus U.S. stuff, but this guy's wearing an ACU hat, so... I, I don't know why ACU somehow made it to this island in 20 years, so... Yep, we gotta talk you to him. Safe, and then we can end the street. Men will help heal you. Thank you for saving me, Nomad. I mean it. Do you have any intel on the Bodarks? We didn't see them coming. Just when we won the upper hand over Sentinel. I like how she blinks with her bandage to die. <laughs> I don't know much about <laughs> you can see her eyelashes through it. They are aggressive, uh -huh. brutal murderers. I can help you fight back. But you God, I just remembered how bad the. <laughs> Just contact you and Bowman the, by radio to coordinate no, the next phase of the conquest. Ubisoft should have just had had like them talk over radio. Why is that? The animation on the faces and the you know, delivery just feel pointless. Glad to be here. Thank you both for keeping your word and not leaving me to the dogs. The outcasts were inspired by Nomad's efforts. They were able to push the Bodarks yep. back and claim they were 100% inspired by me and had nothing to do with you or the Skell influence. Doesn't Russia consider the Bodarks terrorists? And that's where I was like, what? Because I assumed Bodark was Russian special forces, like us, because we're ghosts. I am... So, I'm pretty sure Spetsnaz is... Special well, yeah, forces. but they're the official ones. We're like the Green Berets are the official ones. The Ghosts are the CAA slash version, the, non the Black Ops team. Yeah, the non part of the military one. That's what I thought we were, but copy. Yeah, I don't know. What's it called? Like Article it. Six or something? Do you remember what it is? Um. Oh, what's this? The conquest. Start a chain of commands. TTI basically. Civilize the regions. Conquest overview is X in the map. Yep. Choose your next destination. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go back to. Erwan. Wait. Where, where is Erwan on the map? You can't. 
it's closed. They're closed for business. They don't allow visitors during Civil Wars, apparently. That's why um, shops are enabled in all X now. By default? Even yep. if you have them disabled? I think so. I'm not sure uh, if it's by sector then. But yeah, um, and then I was told that the progress for both of us count. So even though I've restarted Motherland, uh, if I go to single player, I should have the same progress. So I would assume that when I join back to my game, it switches again. Oh, so you're using a SIG. Me? Yeah. Like a or SIG tower? The... Yeah. No, I have the Maxim. Okay, so I'm holding a SIG in your game too then. Right? Uh, not that I see. Okay, because the Fury... The person who sits to your left, the AI teammate, always carries a SIG in the bivouac, and right now it's the same thing. But I also had a SIG equipped, so... Uh, well, do you have a shop? I do. I have a shop. Uh, but if, you remember um, Splinter Cell? Mm -hmm. What's it called? That um, extra right that Sam Fisher has to execute people if necessary? Do you remember? I don't know. Wasn't it like uh, Article I mean, 6 or like the 6th right not. or something? I know. I mean, it sounds like an article, but um, the 4th echelon, 3rd echelon was military structure. Uh, article something, blah, 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 sounds like it would be a, a code. Well, effectively, it was an, an extra right um, given to them by the president to do, to execute people uh, if they deemed it necessary. Mm -hmm. outside of what a normal police Extra force or military would allow. Extrajudicial outside the law. So yeah. it would be basically going against the Constitution, so there would be no article that I can think of right now. But it would it would be either an article or something like that, maybe, sounding. Yeah, but they, they mentioned it in um, Splinter Cell Blacklist. See, this is where you could alt-tab and then push for it. I could. So, Splinter Cell, Article 5. Nope. That Article 6. Is what Article 6. I think is what it was called. Well, Irving Lambert does sound familiar, so I imagine if I clicked on that, it would come up with something. Or I'm just going to open up the third echelon one and then search for article. Yeah, I'm looking at the fourth echelon one right now. NSA gave Third Echelon the green light to create a Black Ops project and training program in which they called it the Splinter Cell program. Um, Fifth Freedom. Fifth Freedom. Fifth Freedom is an That's additional freedom given to Splinter Cells to protect the four freedoms articulated by FDR in the State of the Union address he delivered to the U.S. Congress in 1941, also known as the Four Freedoms speech. So yeah, that makes sense. Freedom of speech and expression, freedom of religion, freedom of want, and freedom of fear. And apparently the fifth freedom is, um... It's the right to defend our laws by breaking them. To safeguard secrets by stealing them, to save lives by taking them. And then, uh, FDR famously said, everything is permitted and nothing is true. <laughs> and then he eagle died. <laughs> uh-huh. 